Hey, more, <laughs> more food available too then. All right, 833 right now. This week's Farmer's Market Find is a creative way to reuse your once favorite t-shirt or worn out clothing. Dallas Tavares joins us from Ilikoi Goods and Kaneohe with all the style and good looks. What you got, Dallas? Hey, good morning, Christine Ross. Well, you know what? We got style coming over here from Connie O'Hay, and it's been, you know, windy these last few days, so why not rock a hat? And let me tell you, this hat has been through a lot, but now I know where I could find one because Anthony is here with his daughter, Layla, with Ely Koi Goods. Good morning, you two. Hey, good morning. Good morning, little one. Hi. Say good morning. Hey, you know, this is so much fun. In the last half hour, we went over some of the different hats, what they're made out of, whether that is a jersey or a, what you say, a rice bag, a raincoat, or even swim trunks. The, the limit is really endless when it comes to what you could create. Right, yeah, no, I can work with a lot of materials, and so people send in all kind of garments for me to transform. Let's talk about the different sewing machines, because I noticed you have a lot of equipment out here. Does right. each sewing machine do something different? Let's start with this one. Yeah, exactly. So this is my workhorse machine. It's just like a single stitch. All it does is stitch a straight line, one single line, and, and this is what I'm on uh, about 90% of the time. Wow. And this one here? And this one here is a double needle machine. So okay. it, there's two needles. Um, it sews two rows of stitches. Mm -hmm. And it also sews on the bias tape to cover up the seams underneath the hat. Hey, what are these hats made out of? This one here is made out of a Gucci and Adidas track jacket that a customer sent in. And then this one here is um, Japanese fabric that I sourced here on the island. And over here, this area, what's this all about? Um, so this machine here is a heat is a heat press, um, and then this hat here was made out of a Japanese wrapping cloth. Yeah, so this is one of the the more popular uh, hats that I've I've been making lately. This is beautiful. Thank you. You're, it's so fresh right here. But as far as how much time you spend on these hats. Can it really just range depending on the material you work with? Or? Yeah, exactly. It depends on what I'm working with, but on average, about three and a half hours Okay. Uh, for one hat. All right, so I brought some examples over here, and I want to just get your expertise on w what makes this a good hat. So this is an old rain jacket here, but it has a lot of pockets and zippers. Yeah, so jackets with a lot of details, like zipper pockets um, and, like, the yellow detailing here, I definitely like to repurpose and, and put this on a hat. This could become, like, the drawstring enclosure on the back. Oh. Um, the zipper I could repurpose and make it into, like, a, a zipper pocket for okay. the side of the hat. I love that. Okay. And then we saw the swim trunk hat, but I brought another one. Right. How do you work with the mesh? Yeah, so with the mesh, what I like to do with hats, I like to make um, hats that have mesh for breathability. Mm -hmm. And so I'll utilize these on the side panels of the hat. And then this front buckle I'll use as like the rear buckle for the back of the hat. And mm -hmm. then the zipper pockets, I'll put one on the side just so you can stash, you know, keys or cash inside. That is cool. Uh, we saw an example of that. Now, if someone just wanted the logo itself, this is just a cotton shirt. This is my, my KH12 shirt. I really got to retire this one. But how do you work with this type of material? Yeah, so this thin cotton, I'll, uh, I'll use my heat press and I'll, I'll fuse it to another layer of fabric just to add thickness and, and structure. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I do a number of T-shirts to where I convert T-shirts into hats. I'll just, um, you know, sandwich it with another layer of fabric. You sort of bring it to life. Now, la last example here is denim. Now, does denim get tricky because this is sort of a thick material, material right. to work with. Yeah, so denim is thick, but um, you know, if you use the right machine with the right needles, it's really not an issue at all. And actually, denim makes for a really good solid hat. Okay, very yeah. cool. Well, Anthony, it's so cool just to kind of pick your brain and also to see the different creations that you've already made itself. Look at this cool UH hat right here. If anyone wants this bucket hat too, if anyone wants to make a purchase or just learn more about your business, where can they go? Right. Yeah, so I do most of my business on Instagram mm -hmm. um, and you can follow me on uh, Instagram at Illicoy Goods mm -hmm. and just, you know, send me a direct message and uh, we, can, we can make that happen. All right, well, thank you so much, Anthony. And to little Layla, she's gonna go back to work. She has her camera. Just saying, when you go on the Instagram, you'll be surprised, but she takes every photo on her Instagram, right? <laughs> That's right, yeah, she's my content creator and she's also a uh, customer service. Um, so when you send me a DM, she, she'll be the one responding back to you. Perfect, but we're pouring out here in Kanye. Hey, you look so good in that. <laughs> Dallas Navarro's Cage Win 2 News, working for Hawaii. Cutest content creator ever. Oh, oh. now she's a journalist. 
Layla, She's like, give me on, that mic, mic, Dallas. Layla. I'll show you how. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but some great hats, very creative. Very and creative. I think Chris and I was uh, mentioning, we like the Ruka one because there's like a little pocket, little zip oh, right there, yeah. zipper. Like, you can just put your key in. Put your in, key in there when you go cash. running or whatever. And then, and then nowadays the hats are like, back in the day, we used to bend them a lot mm -hmm. and fold it, but I guess the kids wear it flat. All different. I don't oh. know even know what the style is these days. But he was wearing it up like um, Spike Lee. Or, or, and if you don't want to, just put it back down, right? Need a little shade. <laughs> but yeah, some very cool designs.